All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out of toilet in his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, Jim S. Dallas. I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. And I'm going to entitle this one, We're Hasting the Day to Get Out of Here, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is the right spirit, uh, the spirit and the right spirit that you should be in, man. You should be hastening the day to get out of America, man. You know, a.k.a. Babylon, you know, the great, man, you know, pursuant to the scriptures. And of course, we know the only ones that's going to be in that spirit is the elect and one third, you know, because two two third of our people, you know, they've they've attached themselves to this place and they love it here, man. You know, they're not trying to get out of here. They're not trying to restore. You know, they're not trying to uh, 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 attain the coming kingdom, man. You know, because first of all, ma the majority of our nation don't even know what the kingdom consists of. They don't they don't know what it is because they've been taught lies. You know what I'm saying? This this earth is in darkness. And these people are in gross darkness and our, the majority of our people are ca caught up in that gross darkness. That's why you have the, 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 the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets out here, you know, trying to tear down those strongholds. You know what I'm saying? But again, we it's already written, it's prophesied that, that the majority, two parts are, are, are not going to receive this. You know, you know, it says that in Hosea, the fourth chapter and verse six, you know, they're going to reject knowledge. And because of that, the Lord is going to reject them, you know, which is going to bring to pass Zechariah, the 13th chapter and verse eight. Where the Lord is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, destroy two parts of his people. You know what I'm saying? Two, two parts shall be cut off and die, but the third uh, shall be bought through the fire, man. You know what I'm saying? And we know the third represents the elect, the one third, you know, those that's, that are slated for uh, 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 salvation in these times. Lord willing, I can be a part of that. But those people are going to be in the, in, the, in the spirit and mindset of hastening or hasting the day to get out of here out of America, AKA Babylon, you know, so first of all, you know, as you can see on the screen, on the screen, uh, I looked up the word haste is where, where you get the word hasting from. It goes back to the word haste. And, uh, I just typed it in, in, in into the uh, dictionary and I'm gonna let him say it. Haste. Haste. So it's haste and a deficit noun and a definition is excessive speed or urgency of movement or action to hurry. You know, that, as you can see, uh, the similars down there, you know, you can see some of the similars right there. Speed, uh, hastiness, hurry, uh, uh, hurry, hur what is that? Uh, hurriness, swiftness, rap rapidity, uh, rapidness, uh, uh, quickness, promptness. You know, you get the, you, you're starting to get the picture, you know, uh, a rush. You know, I'm just going to kind of go through, scan through some of a uh, uh, rushing uh uh, what do I say? Uh, see, uh, quickly, rapidly, fast, speedily, uh, with urgency, in a rush, in a hurry. So, uh, uh, you know, and of course you see the opposite is slowness, delay, and that's not what we're looking for. We're not looking for slowness or delay. We don't want to, we're tired of being here, man. You know what I'm saying? This is not our rest. As a matter of fact, that's the first scripture I want to get, man. You know, I'm, uh, because, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're hastening the destruction of America. You know what I'm saying? Because this is not our rest. So let's get that real quick. You know, because again, the majority of our, of our people are comfortable here. You know, Jake assimilates into these captivities and they get comfortable, man. You know, they want to build here. You got even even uh, uh, Israel that, that knows uh, that they're the Israelites and, they're, and they, they're comfortable here. You know, they want to build here. You know, wrong spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? So real quick, let's get this in Micah, the second chapter. Micah, wow, I was in Micah. Micah, the second chapter. And we're going to drop down to verse 10. It reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And it's not talking about uh, uh, departing physically, like trying to leave. You can't run from the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, uh, when it says, Arise ye and depart, it's talking about bringing yourself out of this place spiritually, mentally. You know what I'm saying? Come out of the ways of this place. It says, For this is not your rest. Because it is spoiled, so it's like you, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And that's exactly what it did, you know. And two thirds of our people are not going to bounce back from that, man. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to, they were, they were destroyed, you know, uh, with the pollution of this place. And that's why it says, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you. You know, and our people are destroyed with the pollution of this uh, uh, this place, man. All the lies, the deceptions, and they've fallen for it. And the Lord, and it's going to lead them, and that's why they reject, reject truth, you know. 
and, and it's going to lead them to, to further destruction, the, the ultimate destruction. You know, when the Lord uh, comes, returns to destroy this place, they're going to be destroyed right along with it, man. You know what I'm saying? So this is not our rest, man. You know, but uh, again, the majority of our people have assimilated into this place and they've attached themselves to this place and they don't want to leave this place, man. They love it here. You know what I'm saying? Because they're wicked at the end of the day. Two parts of our people are wicked. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but now, thankfully, uh, uh, we're at the end of this devil's, uh, uh, you know, kingdom. You know, in the beginning of ours, as scriptures say, which I'm going to get that, but I want to bring this out real quick before I go to that. This Ecclesiastes, just to set that up in uh, chapter 7. And verse 8, and it reads, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And of course, we know who both parties represent. You know, the patient in spirit represent the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You know, you're, the, the, you're ultimately the patient in spirit. And of course, we know in these times that's dealing with the elect, the one third. And it says uh, because two thirds of our people are through, they're finished. And it says. The, the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And uh, the proud represent uh, uh, the, the Edomites, Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say, you know, uh, uh, the, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, roughly paraphrasing. You know, so the, 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 the pride of, uh, of the mind of these devils, man. You know what I'm saying? They have a proud uh, uh, thought process. You know what I'm saying? They're proud against the Lord. You know, scriptures say that, you know, it goes into that in, in uh, uh, as a matter of fact, in Isaiah, the 47th chapter, when you get into that word later, I think it's around verse nine, you know, 47 and like verse nine, where it goes into that lady uh, 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 of, of kingdoms or something like that. And you go into that word lady and it, it goes into that pr to act proudly uh, against the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? So they're, the proud people on the earth are the Edomites. That's why he said that the pride of thine heart, your mind, you know, has deceived thee. They're in a trick bag. That uh, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, and we know they came out the, uh, uh, you know the uh, the uh, rocks of, of Mount Seir. You know what I'm saying in the ancient and in these times, and the, you know the, uh, the the rocks of of, of uh, 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 the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, Russia, man. You know what I'm saying. So we know who those different uh, uh, parties uh, uh, pertain to. You know what I'm saying, and it says better is the end of a thing. Than the beginning thereof, you know what I'm saying? And of course, also uh, 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 going into that patience with the Israelites, the scriptures say, it reminded me of, of a Revelations, the 13th chapter, uh, uh, when it says, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You know what I'm saying? And we know who the saints are. You know, the saints are the Israelites pursuant to Psalms 50 and uh, uh, 5, Psalms 148 and verse 14, and Psalms 149, verse 1 and 2 tells you all of those tell you who the saints are man it's the israelites man you know so so yeah man we, we know who these scriptures are talking about you know what i'm saying but better is the end of a thing than the beginning and we're at the end of esau's uh, uh, kingdom his rulership you know what i'm saying and and that's that's ending because when you have someone uh, a, a nation in in a rulership the, the other nations are beneath him, especially the uh, Israelites, man. They're in captivity to the nation that's ruling, man. You know what I'm saying? So the end of that is beautiful, man, for the for the uh, Israelites because it's beginning uh, uh, their kingdom. And of course, uh, uh, you know, the other nations are going into captivity, man. And primarily these, these devils, man, the Edomites. You know what I'm saying? So real quick, since we set that up, let's get this real quick in the Apocrypha. So like the second edge is chapter six and verse nine. Okay, it's gonna do me like that. It always does. So like man, you know. It's all spiritual. We wrestle not against uh, uh, flesh and blood, but against principalities, wickedness in high places, man. Uh, six and nine. This second edge Chapter six and verse nine, because that happens to me every time, literally, when I'm finna, when I'm doing a lesson. Second Ezra six and nine, it says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." You know, and better is the end of a thing, you know, than the beginning thereof. So, uh, uh, Amen. We're at the end of this devil's world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So it's it's good for us, but it's gonna be bad for them, man. You know what I'm saying? 
because we're at the end of ours and the beginning of theirs, man. End of our ruler, uh, cap uh, captivity and their rulership, beginning of our rulership and their captivity, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful uh, thing. It's, uh, we're in beautiful times. You know, so we're hastening these things, man. You know, we're hastening these things to come. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, when you read in Hebrews, let's get that in Hebrews. It's Hebrews chapter 13. In verse 14, and it reads, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Yeah, this is a hey, man. This is like Micah, the second chapter. You know, this is not our rest, man. Here we have no cont uh, continuing city, man. We need this place to be destroyed, taken down, you know, because we seek one to come. And that one to come is the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we can be in joint air with him. The, the, the coming kingdom of the Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is the kingdom of heaven that will be played out right here on planet Earth, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not anything you have to die and go to. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be right here, you know, in the land of the living. You know, so, and that's going, this verse is actually going into that restoration. You know, the restoration of the nation of Israel, which, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the disciples and the apostles were in that, uh, uh, slash apostles, uh, Salakia, so like disciples slash apostles were in that mindset and spirit, man, which we're supposed to be in. And, and when you read in, uh, Acts, the first chapter, you know, what did, what did it say? This is Acts chapter uh, one and verse six. And it reads, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore Again, the kingdom to Israel, which that proves right there. The kingdom ain't something you die and go uh, uh, and to, you know, to, to uh, uh, obtain or, uh, or achieve because we've had, we had it before to, to say to restore again, the kingdom to Israel means we had it before, man. You know, so it's talking about rulership. You know, when you're going to restore the rulership back to Israel, Israel is what the, the, they're asking him. Lord, with thou at this time, restore Again and restore, it means to, to, to reestablish or bring back again the kingdom to Israel. You know what I'm saying? So that's the mentality that you should be in. That's the mentality they were in. They thought it was a, a time back then, but it wasn't, man. You know what I'm saying? There's there's things that had to play out, prophecies, you know what I'm saying, that had to be fulfilled, things that had to happen still. You know, so it wasn't time, but they were they thought it was, you know what I'm saying? When after his uh, uh, death and resurrection, you know what I'm saying? They thought that it was time, you know, but he had to send back to his father, you know, but like, like, like it says, will thou at this time restore again, the kingdom to Israel, which is the spirit and mindset you should, uh, should be in, you know, if you're in the right spirit and mindset, that is, you know what I'm saying? Which the majority of our people, they're not in that spirit. They're not in that mindset. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not saying restore and the scriptures going all of that. So let's get that real quick in Isaiah, the 42nd chapter in verse 22. This is Isaiah 42 and 22. It says, but this people, so like it, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. This, that people is talking about the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, uh, they are all, all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for, they are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore because Jake is comfortable in the madness, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake just feels like this is how things are supposed to be, you know? So I'm just going to deal with this and go through it. No, man. The scriptures tell you, and, uh, as a matter of fact, let's get it real quick and then we'll come back. This is I, uh, Isaiah 29 and verse 16, and it, and, and it reads, surely you're, you're turning of things upside down. So things are upside down, man. You know, who turned the things upside down? Esau, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked pursuant to uh, Job 9, 24. So it says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, it's going to be thought. This is how the Lord created things. This is how he made it. This is how it's supposed to be. Wrong. Because things are upside down. He turned things upside down. So if they're right side up, then how are things going to be? The opposite of how things are now, man. You know, everything in this place is, is, is backwards and upside down. You know, and things have to be turned right side up, man, which is coming, man. So it says, uh, surely your, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. 
Exactly, man. The Lord knew exactly what he was doing when he did what he did, man. And then he gave the earth into the hands of these devils and they, they changed everything. Lied, put deceptions in the earth, you know, which was what he was supposed to do. You know, it was his part in the movie. He's the wicked. So he did what exactly what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But it fooled the, the people that it was supposed to fool. Well, the majority of them, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's a remnant that's returning. You know, the Lord chose from the foundation of the earth pursuant pursuant to Ephesians, the first chapter, those that he was going to save in the, in the latter days and latter times and give, give this knowledge to. Which, you know, hey, if you if you hear the videos or, or pass by a camp or, or whatever and, and you believe and you, you hear it, you believe it, you know, and you start living this thing and, and you know, you, you migrate uh, uh, towards it. Or, uh, hey, man, it was for you, man. You know what I'm saying? You were, you were one of those spirits that was uh, predestined to to uh, uh, to receive this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So and that's a beautiful thing, you know. So, hey, if you're listening to one of these videos or, or you're watching a camp or or you, you go out and you listen or and you believe, hey, man, that's a beautiful thing for you. You're one of those uh, chosen spirits from the foundation of, of the world, man. You know, when the, before the Lord created anything, you know, he chose spirits, man. The ones he was going to uh, save and give them knowledge and those he's going to destroy in, in these last days, man, in, in these latter times. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's go back now. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah 42, because our people, the majority of our people, they're not asking for restoration. They, they, they're not asking to be restored. You know, they, they, they love it here, man. Again, Isaiah 42 and 22, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. There are all them snared in holes. And they are all hid and so like, and they are hid in prison houses. And that's why the majority of the people that's locked up that that's in these prisons are you Jake's man. This system, this society, this setup, this kingdom is not for you, man. It's totally against you. You know, it's an anti-Messiah setup and system and kingdom. And, and hey, man, this this is not our rest. Like Micah 2, I keep, you know, referring to Micah the second chapter, but that's what's going on. Therefore, pray and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore. So they're not the majority of our people are not in the, the mindset and spirit of, re, of restore, being restored, restoration which is exactly the mindset and spirit they're supposed to be in, man. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for this place to uh, get taken out, to get, uh, uh, to get taken down, man. You know, you know, we're ready for the return of our Lord because we know that he's coming back to, to uh, 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 judge and make war with these people, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is going to catch up two thirds of our people as well, man. He, when he comes to judge, you know what I'm saying? He's going to make war with these devils, but he's going to judge as well. You know what I'm saying? He's going to judge them. He's going to judge two thirds of the nation of Israel. These other nations and two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to receive that judgment as well, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that's why the scriptures say in Revelations 19 that uh, upon his head, were, uh, uh, he wore many crowns. And of course, in Daniel the seventh, the seventh chapter, it says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. That's what he's coming to do to take these devils down. The, 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 the joint Arab rulership on the left hand with Esau and these nations, man, these heathen nations, man. The heathen rule is over, you know, and the, and the end of their times is going to come to, through them, as it says in Second Ezra, uh, uh, the 11th chapter, I believe it's in. You know what I'm saying? So we're there, man. This is it. And we're hasting the day to get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? So this is a uh, second Peter. Let's get second Peter real quick. Second Peter chapter. Uh, what is that? Chapter two. And verse. Uh, is it chapter two? Uh, hold on. What is it? Three. Salakia. Trying to see what I want here. Kind of second, second Peter chapter three, my bad. The second, second Peter chapter three and verse 12. And it reads, as a matter of fact, yeah, yeah. Verse 12, it, it reads looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of, of, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Hasting. We're looking for and hasting. You know, that word haste, we looked it up, speedy, speedily, hurry, you know what I'm saying, fast, quickly, you know what I'm saying, so we want these things to happen fast, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, you know what I'm saying, this place has to be destroyed, man, you know what I'm saying, verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth. And that new means refreshed, new rulership, new supervision. You know what I'm saying? New rulers, 
and everything because hey, this has been the worst rulership uh, 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 management of the planet, man, ever. You know, so hey, it's time, man. Nevertheless, we according to His promise look for new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And of course, righteousness is going to be established, bringing to pass uh, Matthew six and ten: Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven because there's perfect righteousness and, and, and order in the, in the heavens. And that's going to be established in the earth by way of the rod, you know, breaking them into, into shivers like a potter's vessel. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not being done now. There's no righteousness in the earth. You know what I'm saying? Only, only righteousness in the earth now is the remnant that's returning, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's what we look for. But as it says in verse 12, you know, the, the elements that things have to be dissolved. The elements have to be melted with fervent heat. So this place has to be destroyed. It has to be turned upside down, you know, in order for that which is sown with good to come. So let's get that and we'll end it off right there. This is 2nd Ezra. Let's go back to 2nd Ezra. Chapter 4. And verse 28. And 29. 2nd Ezra 4 and 28. And it reads, but as concerning the things whereof thou askest me. Askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Yes, yeah, whole lot of evil has been sown in the earth. Chattel slavery, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, all the madness, you know, and you just do was buck breaking and, and, you know, a whole lot of madness. Even on up until today, man, you know what I'm saying? They're still bringing much madness. You know, that C, that C, uh, uh, one nine, man, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're getting ready to try to bring the C hip, you know what I'm saying? That, that Karagma, you know, all of these things, you know. Are the evils that these devils are, are sowing and trying to sow, man. So evil has been sown, sown in the earth, you know, much evils, you know what I'm saying? But the uh, uh, the destruction thereof is not yet come. There's still things that have to play out. Of course, I just mentioned one, you know, and then, of course, ultimately, World War Three has to happen. You know what I'm saying? You know, these nations are going to rise up against each other and and, 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 and different plagues and, and, you know, earthquakes, which all these things are happening. But these, you know, the famines. And so there, there's things that have to ha uh, play out and happen, you know what I'm saying, before that destruction. But here's the here's the rest of the point. Verse 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. Yeah, this place has to be turned upside down, has to be destroyed. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, that destruction, then cannot it come that is sown with good and that's what we haste we're hastening that which is coming which is sown with with good man the kingdom of heaven wherein dwelleth righteousness you know so we're hastening the day to get out of here man you know what i'm saying so and that's the right spirit that's the spirit and vibration that's going to be that's being pushed rather uh, uh from from the men of the lord you know those the, the believers you know what i'm saying and, and those who who is for they're going to receive it so Hey, if you're not in that spirit, hey, I don't know what to tell you. You might want to pray, you know, to see if you're, you're, you're part of this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Pray to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the spirit and vibration, and that's the spirit and mindset that you should be in. So, uh, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying to the hopeful elect, which I hope, I hope to be a part of. I brought the Sabbath Shah. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace. And blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.